Blog Talk Radio. This is Barbara Calvano at Let's Ask the Angels on Fridays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And thank you all for listening and for those who will be listening to the rebroadcast. Um, today was a last-minute um, show that I put together. I was going to do a rebroadcast, and I actually got some messages from the angels to go for it. So here I am, and I welcome uh, listeners uh, calling in to have readings. Um, at the half hour mark or earlier, and um, yeah, so we'll get going. Um, Let's Ask the Angels is a radio show here on Blog Talk Radio, put on by my um, business side of myself called B Calvano Coaching, and that's um, a website where you can find out more information about me. And I am a certified angel card reader from Doreen Virtue, and Radley Valentine, I have taken the Advanced Oracle and Tarot Card course, certified in that also. And at this time, I'm taking a course on, a certification course on dreams and uh, ter- interpreting dreams, which is quite fascinating. So each week, I do a card reading for the week for my listening audience, and if time allows I do a guided meditation and then do angel card readings for my callers and a little bit about myself more I'm from Ohio State University as a graduate I have a background in the performing arts and creative arts I'm also an actor and painter a little bit about myself that's interesting the last film I was in is Arthur the remake of the movie I'm in that as a featured, oh, in a featured role, and also I've been on television in One Life to Live when that was on, and um, in the 90s, Saturday Night Live, and a lot of Law and Order's SVU. So a little bit of my acting and my paintings have been on Access Hollywood in terms of celebrities owning my paintings. So that's a little bit about what I did before. I still do a little bit of it, but mostly now I'm interested in teaching people about angels and how they can um, access messages from angels and uh, teaching them how they can do what I do for themselves. So today, before I get started, I want to do, um, I just want to read a little bit from one of my most favorite books, um, not in the angel department, but very much inspiration for everyone um, from a Louise L. Hayes book, You Can Heal Your Life, which you can get at hayhouse.com or probably any online bookstore. And I just want to share with you this today from her chapter, What I Believe. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. I believe in a power far greater than I am that flows through me every moment of every day. I open myself to the wisdom within, knowing that there is only one intelligence in this universe. Out of this one intelligence comes all the answers, all the solutions, all the healings, and all the new creations. I trust this power and intelligence, knowing that whatever I need to know is revealed to me, and that whatever I need comes to me in the right time, space, and sequence. All is well in my world. And 
the intention for this month is, for May, is connecting to your spirit. And when you connect to your spirit, it's not always going to be pretty. You know, our spirit is life energy. And in life, there's um, ups and downs, black and white, dark and the dark and the light. You know, there is both. And when I set this uh, intention for May, what I wanted us to do was to have the ability to be present no matter what happens in your life and get support. And one of the ways I've learned to get support and is with um, calling upon my angels, whether I do angel card readings or I just ask them to come to me, which they do in my presence and in doing energy healing with the angels, which is very similar to chakra balancing or energy clearing. It can be done very swiftly and very deeply with the support of angels. And that's what I also do for you, my listeners, when you call in. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the card reading for the week I did for the listening audience. And I was guided to use the card, one of my favorite decks, Archangel Michael. And the Archangel Michael Oracle card decks. And I'll post the photos of these cards later today on my um, Blog Talk Radio page. The first card for Friday, Saturday, Sunday is Decide to Be Happy. And here it says on the card Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all the goodness in my life. And so here the angels have heard us, they're answering our prayers, and instead of making our happiness contingent upon the future, we can decide to be happy right now. And one way to do so is to focus on everything and for everyone for whom we feel grateful for. And we can take a look at what's already working well in our life. What are our blessings and strengths? And by allowing ourselves to experience joy and pleasure now, we become empowered. So we can take control of our life and prevent outside influences from determining how we feel. So the message here is decide to be happy now, detach from drama. You know, there may be things happening around you. The message is to detach, expect a miracle, and write a gratitude list. Open your heart to love. And so for the next um, days on Monday, Tuesday, a favorable outcome is the next card. And it says, thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. And here, there might be a situation that you're concerned about that has already resolved itself. And with fairness and justice for everyone. And, you know, heaven and God, your source, your higher power, has way more ideas than we do as, as men and women. So it's really beyond our imagination. So we might, might not see the solution to this at this moment, but we can trust that it's already in place. So here the message is that there may be a healing that will occur, certain monies that you are waiting for will come through, or you'll get that uh, job that you've been desiring. And then the last card for that will be Wednesday, Thursday of the coming week is forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. And here on the card it says, I ask that you help me let go of self-blame, forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So here it says, you know, Archangel Michael says that guilt is often interfering with the happiness that we are seeking. Guilt, you know, guilt of something that we have said or done, if we were in an argument with a loved one or a coworker, you know, that we're blaming ourselves for something that's in the past and it's time to let it go. You know, especially if the self-blame is unproductive and unhealthy. And I know, for one, that I can go down that path. You know, I'm human. I, I might be an angel therapist, but I'm as human as you guys are. So in truth, we've done nothing wrong. We were doing our best at the time. 
think and speak lovingly about yourself and stop ruminating about the past. Send blessings to those you're angry with as a way of healing yourself in this situation. And know that you can't control other people's feelings or reactions. And for some of us, we may join a support group such as Al-Anon or any 12-step group that you feel drawn to. And um, they are quite amazing, those groups. So here's the message again. Decide to be happy now in a situation where you might not have been and expect a favorable outcome. Let it go. Um, Know that it has been resolved. And then forgive yourself. Really let go of any guilt, any feelings inside your body that may reside um, to the point where you want to withdraw. You know, um, the things that we do when we feel guilty Some of us overeat, overspend, or do some things that aren't very healthy. But to let go and just forgive ourselves so we've done nothing wrong. So here, great news, a great message for if you're in a situation that, as uh, I would say, might have come up with the uh, solar um, eclipse, not the solar, the lunar eclipse, Um, with the full moon. I know I'm very affected by it, so some of you may have awful also been this week. So right now I will begin to take listener calls and um, do angel card readings. All right, so the first one I'm going to do is from in the chat room. I have uh, Kakalia, and her question is, do you see me doing over, what do you see me doing over the summer? while I attend summer school. And um, actually, I can do that for you. So what do you see me doing over the summer while I attend summer school? And I won't mention the uh, location, okay? So for her, I will... um, I'm guided to do, to do the reading from one of my favorite decks, and that is Messages from the Fairies. I'm someone who spends a lot of time in nature, and I also paint a lot of um, nature. So I'm very connected to it. So I'm going to do her reading now. Hmm. So for, I'm going to say her name right, Kakalia, what we see is the message for you is that um, more about how you're going to be, because the first card says be yourself, it says that this situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. So you're going to be really coming into your own courage and power. You're going to be in a state where you're going to be very free and um, what I see very self-expressed. The next card says that the answer to your question involves your daughter. So whether you have a real daughter or there's uh, someone else's daughter that you may be near, the daughter shows up here. And then the next card is children. So we have here we have... You're going to really be authentically yourself, courageously self-expressed, and be around children, working with children. And here it says, your connection with children is part of your life's purpose. So that's what I see from the angels telling me today about your uh, experience this summer. Okay, now I'm going to go to the first caller today, area code 954. Hi, hi there. My name, hi. My name is hi, Darlene from Florida. Hi. You said Darlene? Yes. Oh, hi, Darlene. Welcome to Let's Ask the Angels. What can I do for you today? Um, do you see romance coming into my life? Okay. That's a great question. It's a great question, Darlene. So I have a wonderful deck that I love using from Doreen Virtue. I don't know if you know her. She produces um, these incredible cards. I'm going to do Romance Angels for you. Okay. Okay. 
give me one second. Okay, so I was guided to choose these cards, and the first card says playfulness, and it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So playfulness, and we'll look at the other two cards to see how they all relate. So playfulness, so it looks like it's asking you, the angels are asking you to have more fun, whatever you can do. So you can have that romantic spirit in you shine. And when we have fun, whether we're out dancing or even if you're jogging in nature or you're doing something that, that you know, makes you feel good, then you actually, you know, you're, you're showing more, um, you're showing happiness. And that's very attractive. The mm-hmm. second card is passion. And it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So I don't know if you actually do sing, but it says it's allowing your heart and your soul to sing with joy. So passion, playfulness, passion, and then chemistry. Chemistry says here there's a strong magnetic attraction here. There may be someone in your life right now that you're looking at that is looking at you, that you're kind of attracted to, that there's some magnetic you know, attraction going on. It, that's, it says that that's real. So I don't know if this makes any sense, if there's someone right now. If not, you're going to feel it pretty soon. And okay, how you make that happen. Yeah, go ahead. There isn't anyone right now. Okay. Well, it says to look for chemistry. So, okay. you know, oftentimes when we're out there, you know, there are some who say don't look for love. What I say yeah. is put your – I say – Put your radar up, you know. Go ahead and put the satellite disc up, you know. Start, start looking because if your heart says I'm looking, you're going to follow your heart, right? It's not like you're, you know what I'm talking about. Right. Very, um, you know. So you're open. You are open to a relationship right now. So it says right. chemistry. You will experience some. You will meet someone that you feel it. So not to be afraid of that feeling, you know. Mm-hmm. Not to be afraid of it. And but how you allow yourself to get there is through being playful you know recapture romance i don't know whatever it says recapture it means maybe you you had not been allowing that before but now you're ready you know allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine what you know, do some things wear brighter colors whatever it's going to have you be even more attractive you know to the right. other person right and do that go ahead and passion in the card passion it's it's, it looks like the cover of a romance novel. It's got an angel that's holding a woman, like, ready to kiss her. He's, he's, he's embraced. So passion is right in the center. So it's allow. Go, 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 go. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So oftentimes the angels are not going to tell you exactly. Sometimes they do give us exact details, like go here two blocks over and up the elevator, you know. What it's telling you here is to work on your energy. Work on your on your energy. Okay. okay? So bring uh-huh. more playfulness and trust that this is indeed a message for you. And mm-hmm. the, the idea about chemistry is sometimes we'll, if we've not been dating for a while, you know, and maybe we, we got over a bad relationship, sometimes we don't trust when we have that initial feeling of, like, attraction to someone. You know, we mm-hmm. hesitate. Here it's saying mm-hmm. go ahead. It says there there is a strong magnetic attraction. And when you have those feelings in your body, you know, as you open your heart, you you will trust more and go forward with it. Okay. Okay? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome, darling. Thank you for calling in. Okay. Bye now. Okay. Okay, Bye-bye. So the next caller I have is uh, area code 647. You're all going to get it. Don't you scratch mommy like that. Okay, thank you. Hello, area 
code 678. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for taking my call. Oh, you're welcome. What is your uh, name? I How just wanted to get... A... Yes, my name is Cyril, calling from Georgia. Oh, Cyril, did you call last week also? N- I don't think I've ever talked to you. Okay, no problem, because I have your same name. So that's okay. So oh, what, okay. what can I do for you? Uh-huh. Yeah, I just wanted to get an angel message. Sure, sure. Okay, Cyril, so I'm going to use the daily guidance um, from your angel's oracle cards. Mm-hmm. Just give just give me like 10 seconds as I shuffle the deck and clear it and then ask for, I use Archangel Haniel to give me clear, accurate guidance. And also I ask the Archangels to protect me from any lower energies. Okay. Okay, so serial, Siri- right? Yes. Okay, so the three cards that I was guided to choose are see only love, focus on service, and family. So the general guidance is with the sea only love, I see an angel holding a heart with wings in her hands. And it says, look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed ways. So it's saying that whether there may be a situation right now in your life that um, Mm -hmm. it could be upsetting you or irritating or annoying you, somebody or a situation. It says try to look and see only love right now. Mm -hmm. The next card says focus on service. And it says here your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. And this stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So here it says focus on service. So as you're seeing only love, you know, people who have made some mistakes or there there may be some misunderstandings with a person or situation, here it says for you to focus on service so that you can feel, you can actually feel the love coming back to you. You're going to give love, and you're going to feel it back. Mm-hmm. And the next card says family. So here it says, this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. So in your mind and heart, surround this person and yourself with the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. So here it looks like there could be the situation could be about family, you know. And um we call upon Archangel Michael to help us here with the blue light. And if you have a situation with a family member, you can, not only for yourself, but for the other person, surround them in blue light. And what that looks like, is it's as if you were putting a blue bubble around that person, or you, mm-hmm. or your home, or you know any situation. And that color of the aura, Archangel Michael, actually shields and protects you from any more stress and more lower energies, and you will feel calmer and more peaceful. So you can use the blue light for that. So here it looks like, you know, the last card 
makes it appear that it could be a family situation. So it says, see only love with everyone who's involved. Let go of any mistakes or misunderstandings. And in the middle card saying, focus on service. You know, what can you, you know, what you give out comes back. So if we give out upset and anger, we're going to get that back. You know, if, if it's um, as long as it's, I want to say, you know, if it's an act that you cannot forgive because it's so, you know, horrible, that's a different situation. But oftentimes we have misunderstandings, arguments, or, you know, energy imbalances with people because of um, they're mostly communication misunderstandings. You know, well, we can focus on service and then surround it all in blue light. So that's the message. Does that make any sense for you today? Yes, it does. Okay. You know, so yeah, you... Thank you so much for the messages. Oh, you're welcome. And you can call upon Archangel Michael. He's the first angel right next to God and he will hear your messages. Of course you can you can pray them directly to God. You know, some people have a very powerful connection to their higher power and their source. But Archangel Michael, he can be in all places at one time. And he has a mm-hmm. sword of light and he can um be there to protect you, give you courage, confidence in any anything in your life and by asking him to be at your side he he will stay at your side forever it's not like he comes we know today and he's gone you can actually have Mm -hmm. this archangel with you at all times and i do that i do that and it makes a huge difference so um Mm -hmm. you know thank you again for calling in thank you so much for the messages oh you're welcome you're welcome Okay, so let me go to the chat room to see if there's anyone in the chat room. Nope, not yet. Okay. So another thing that I was going to do today is um, talk about flower therapy, the the awesome book by uh, Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. And right now here in New York, the New York area where I live, The flowers, the spring flowers, are blooming like crazy. And um, what we have here are a lot of tulips. And I had taken a lot of photographs of tulips this past weekend. And what I saw was that, you know, I want to start talking about the flowers that I really love. And tulips, flowers, can be used for healing also. And there are essential oils when the... um, companies that I use is Young Living Oils, and these essences and oils can be used for transformation and healing. And tulips are really prevalent right now, so I wanted to talk about them. If you see them, if you have them, if you buy them, if they're um, around your neighborhood, they have energetic properties. And these properties of the tulips are grace, poise, calm, removing irritations, releasing anger, preventing interruptions. So you could actually bring tulips into your office area. If you've got like an annoying coworker or someone who bothers you a lot, the tulips will give off an energy so they won't do that as much. The angels, the archangels that are associated with them are Haniel, Raguel, and Zedkiel. And then the chakras that they're associated with are the root chakra, the sacral, solar plexus, and the crown chakra. And tulips, they can help clear out energies that cause you annoyance and anger, as I just said. And these calming flowers can help you relax and focus better, even when things aren't going the way you want them to go. So it's really interesting that in springtime we see so many tulips blossoming, and you know, there's that time period between the winter and the weather's changing and it's getting warmer. Have you noticed people, people um, they honk their horns louder, they're, they drive a little crazier with all the new sunlight. You know, people, um, their energy shifts. And the tulips can be a very calming plant to have in a garden. So when you feel like you aren't making any progress, um, you can also use um, 
the energy of tulips to help bring you balance and um, everything will come back into order. So the message from the tulips, and again, this is from the book, Flower Therapy, Welcome the Angels of Nature into Your Life. It says, allow your body to absorb my healing energies. Let go of any harsh emotions you're experiencing. Call on me when you don't have time for yourself or your work. There's no better time than now to benefit from my healing energies. I'll support you and allow you to carry yourself with grace and poise. So, a lot of people really don't notice nature, or you might live in a place in the world, in the United States, where you don't get to see nature. But for me, and even how I was brought up, nature is almost like the first place you can go for any type of healing. You know, they'll say, go take a walk, go outside. There's a lot to be said to get sunlight, to be a, around trees and flowers. And as I mentioned, I live in New York City, but I don't live in Manhattan. And honestly, I don't enjoy living in Manhattan. I had before, but I live in a part of Queens where I have pure silence in the evening. I have pure silence, believe it or not. I have a garden. I have flower boxes. I can grow things. I have squirrels that come to my porch and birds that come to the trees. So I really have like both worlds. I have the incredible city life, but I also have pure in touch with nature. And I use it. And um, so that's what I wanted to talk about today a little bit with the flower therapy book. I absolutely um, recommend it. And something, the message, the a message I'm getting to tell you all is some of you, um, yeah, to go get to a garden, walk among the trees. And did you know that even if you have, you might not be able to have time to get to your chiropractor, you have a back spasm while you're out walking in nature, you can put your back up against a tree. And the tree will actually absorb all the tension out of your body. Or even take off your shoes and allow your feet to feel the grass. Such a simple thing. Though many of us uh, that are grown up now and older, we, we've forgotten the little things that really work, that you watch children do. When I go to the botanical gardens, one of the things I always see children do is roll. You see them roll. I mean, we will, we'll walk through the grass and walk amongst the trees, but they'll get down on the ground and lay straight out like a log and they let themselves roll on the grass. And it's just so natural for them to want to get close to nature. And they really allow themselves to feel the good energy. So that's something that I say to do for the month of May, to connect with your spirit. So I'm going to see if indeed I have another caller on right now. And let me see. Hello? Hello, uh, caller 678, area code. Oh, okay, I'll go here. I'll, here's my next caller. Hi there, area code 516. How can I help you? Hi, it's Kirk. Hi, Kirk. How are you today? Hi. Are you out Are you out painting? Uh, I'm actually tethered to my phone at the moment because uh, an acting thing came up and it involves uh, rearranging schedule. So I'm okay. waiting for a fallback, and Very I found good. myself um, in line with an angel. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all around you. <laughs> they're all around you. Yeah. So for my listeners out there, this is my friend Kirk, who's a really an incredibly talented painter and an actor. We both met working on a TV show, I think it was, right? I think it was a TV uh, show that we were working on. Untitled Film Project. Yeah, okay, so that's where we um, met. So uh, I really enjoyed the photograph of you painting outside. It's the coolest photograph of, of Kirk painting fireworks. And the colors in that photograph are just amazing. 
you know, just it's the coolest photograph. And I don't know how you did it to work in the dark. That's pretty wild, you know. I have a little light on my hat, on my visor. Okay. So when I look at the painting, I'm a, uh-huh. it's illuminated just a little bit. And when I look at the paints, it's illuminated. So it follows my line of sight. Very and it takes a, a good deal of preparation uh, because fireworks are quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, that's um, it's quite remarkable and to, walk, to see that. Did you finish the painting that night? I did, and I will post it when I get off the call. I'll put it right okay, after that cool. one. Cool. Did you want a reading today, or? Um... I just I've just gone through um, a little bit of turbulence, mm-hmm. and I'd be very interested in finding out what the angels have to say. Okay. Did you find this turbulence was this week or this, um, you know, I I found that a lot of people were experiencing with this. um, There's been a couple of eclipses, and they can cause a lot of uh, energy to be released, a lot of uh, information to be released quickly, and, um, yeah, what we call it. Yeah, I think think that was definitely a, a, a contributing factor. Yeah. So I'm going to use the Archangel Michael deck again that I have used for the weekly reading for you here. And mostly you're not alone because many, many people have been experiencing a lot of, the word is turbulence. And sometimes turbulence clarifies, though it might not always feel good while you're going through it. Okay, so, Kirk, the three cards that I was um, guided to draw are, the first one is Have Confidence. And it says, the Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. The first card. And we'll see how the other cards tie in. The second one says, you're on the right path. As Archangel Michael says, I call upon you now, and we call upon him now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I can easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. And the third card says, you and your loved ones are safe. And the prayer on the card says, dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my my priorities and enjoy a helpful, happy life. So the message that I see that you're getting is whatever you were experiencing, have confidence and know that you're one with the divine, that you are one, and that you are on the right path, and that you can call upon Archangel Michael to give you clear and loud messages, like the next step to take. And you literally just ask the angel, you know, you literally say, what is the next step to take? And then be very open. And be very open, you know, visually, with your ears, with your heart. And then the third card says, you and your loved ones are safe. So that you are safe. And if there's anyone else that may be concerned in this situation, that they are safe also. And safe meaning provided for, protected, that all is well. So here it's, it's a, it seems like a, it's a very beneficial message that in light of everything, you know, just to know that you're, you are aligned with the divine and that you are on the right path. It's, it's 
it's beautiful and it's perfectly timed. That it's been uh, my challenge to uh, drop into my confidence and my alignment with divinity, and I I put it out there that I would like a little bit of clarity or direction and uh, as to moving into that. And during the reading, I felt myself uh, almost like when a puzzle piece drops into place. I, mm-hmm. I, I felt myself drop into where I've been seeking to be. So mm-hmm. I thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. That definitely was Archangel Michael doing his thing, you know. Um, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, Kirk. I look forward to seeing more of your work. Um, I, I'm I'm working on some watercolors right now. And uh, but thank you for your. Um, I feel a com you know com- uh, camaraderie as a fellow painter. And whenever I see you post your photographs and your workshops and things that you're doing, I I I get busy. So let to let you know that that your actions motivate me. To, uh, get oh, my I think. Okay. Yes. And I look forward to seeing the next thing that you do as well. So even Thank if it's you. a little, little doodle and a blurb, get the brush out. <laughs> In fact, I suspect that there are people listening now that would like to get back to painting or start. And I would say, don't try and do it perfect. Be willing to make a mistake. Just do it for the fun of it, and allow that joy to move through you. And know that when you make art, and when I make art, we bring joy to others. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Kirk. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, everyone. So I'm going to check the chat room to see if there's anyone else. Oh, someone thanked me for a reading, and you're welcome, Daru3. All right, so here we go. So any of you that are listening, you can call in for a reading at 424-675-6837. Okay, for right now, I'm going to take a brief break, and then I will do a clearing. I will do a clearing. So I have all these incredible music. Okay, I'll play this.
welcome back, everyone. And I have a few minutes left today. I can welcome any other call calls, but right now, in looking at doing some type of clearing or guided meditation, I was drawn to do angel affirmations. And the, these are from the book Healing with the Angels, How the Angels Can Assist You in Every Area of Your Life by Doreen Virtue. And these are affirmations that you can say aloud daily to increase your self-confidence and self-love. And you can make your own um, affirmation tape. And you can get this, like I said, in the book on page 189 of Healing with the Angels. And by using affirmations, affirmations are really, really powerful. Um, our brains and our minds are doing a self-tape talk on its own. And when, when we can learn to um, not, you can not necessarily erase the tape, but you can create a new tape when the old ones, the negative ones, start playing in your head. Um, you learn a new muscle. The muscle takes practice to put into place so that it, it will work when needed. But the affirmations are hold energy, and they can totally shift your life, your situation, and creating results. So here are some angel affirmations. I am now surrounded by angels. The angels shine the love of God upon me and through me. I accept this love from God and the angels. I deserve love. I deserve happiness. I deserve health. I deserve help from heaven, and I accept it now. I call upon God and the angels to help and guide me. I listen to my inner voice and feeling. My inner voice and feeling is guidance from God and the angels. This guidance is everything I need. I follow my guidance in full faith. I know that God and the angels love me and are guiding me right now. I accept the angel's love. I accept love. I love. I am love. I am loving. I am very loved. Everyone loves me. I love everyone. I forgive everyone. I forgive myself.
I send God's love to everyone I meet. I guard my thoughts carefully and only allow positive and loving thoughts to come through. There is an abundance of love in the world. There is enough for everyone. There is plenty to go around. I have an abundance of everything. I attract wonderful, loving people into my life. My angels and I enjoy new opportunities to give service in the world. I am rewarded constantly. My life is harmonious and peaceful. I am peaceful. I am radiant. I am joyful. Once again, that was from Healing with the Angels, How the Angels Can Assist You in Every Area of Your Life by Doreen Virtue. So I want to thank you again for listening. And if you would like an angel reading or life coaching or angel therapy, you can contact me through Facebook at um, B. Calvano Coaching or here on Blog Talk Radio on my face page or at my website at www.bcalvanocoaching.com for an appointment, or for more information about my services. I want you all to have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Enjoy the great weather. Do something good for yourself, good for another person. Take care of yourself, and I love you. Thank you again. See you next Friday at 4.